So I, I'm Garth Evans, and I'm visiting my very old friend, Paul de Monchot. Um, we were at the sleigh together, uh, along with Paul and his wonderful wife, Ruth. Uh, so I'm here in the south of London, and I've been looking around Paul's studio, workshop, and drawing studio. And uh, there's, a, there's a, a, a lot of quite wonderful work. Um, to be seen here and I'm, um, there's talk of Paul having a retrospective which is absolutely due and will be wonderful and I hope to see it. Paul, um, it, it, there's something about your practice that I envy and that is you seem to be able to move very freely without any kind of uh, uh, distinction really being made between studio work and public work. Is that the case, or am I wrong? No, I, I don't know about easily anything, but 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 yes, it's to me it's all the same, and and the the uh, constraints of the public work are, are well known, and uh, but um, the um, invention that goes into it before you, uh, execution is exactly what goes on in the studio every day. So there's no distinction there. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, um, as it happens, uh, against my expectations when I started doing it, uh, some of the best ideas I've had have come out of doing the public work. Not necessarily the works themselves, but what goes on in the studio. You notice something and pick it up later. So it, it's, uh, I, I haven't... Uh, I haven't felt it. Uh, it is a different world once you once you get into it, all the all the working with other people and and all, all everything. But but uh, at the invention stage, uh, it's it's all the same really. You go in the studio and well, you try, is, try and find something that works. Yeah? It is for you. It, it it's always been an issue for me when there are other people involved and when somebody's commissioning something and then you have to in some way think about. It about them, uh, whereas yeah. in the studio I am completely free from any anybody else's concerns or mm. interests. No, it's, it's, um, I think you have to, you have to meet it somewhere. Um, people who, who involved in that process are, are usually word people. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, I suppose you have to find some words to mm -hmm. to allow them to enter what you're doing, but of course um, the sculpture um, doesn't have names, yeah. and, and and so you have to. There is a balancing act there. But I, I found that. Um, uh, it really hasn't been an obstacle. I mean, it, it, of course, it, you have to. You, I think. I think you have to concede. You have to cooperate. Yeah, you, you, some, you've done. You've done quite a number of, of, of public works. You know, some of which I think are amongst the best public works that, that have been done in this country for some time. And they don't. You know, you haven't. You haven't found it. Your your commissions haven't obliged you to kind of engage a kind of subject matter kind of uh, the, there is no message there's no your works the both the studio works and the public works are are you know things in their own right they're not there mm. to carry some kind of uh, public message they're not you know they're, they're not often it seems to me that public works are required to. Yes, uh, to address a particular audience. Right. I think this is how how can you put this? <coughs> I think that's that's the way it's seen. But I think, and uh, uh, I, uh, I was trying trying to get this. I guess I perhaps best give an example. There's there's one uh, I did a, a memorial to Wilfred Owen in in Shrewsbury and. Uh, um, of course, that was a very specific person, mm -hmm. a specific mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, uh, inevitably, I did a lot of research. Mm -hmm. I looked into, uh, I read all his poetry, I looked at his life, mm -hmm. uh, came up with a, with a story that, uh, how, how could we put this, uh, turned out to match um, the commissioner's view of what that was about. Uh, and it, at the same time, that had come out of the studio. In other words, if, I, if, if, if the naming came after I'd made it, but if you wanted to, to analyze it in terms of, 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 of the narrative, it was there as well. Uh, um, uh, in other words, the, the, uh, 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 the story about, about, about uh, uh, one of the, uh, forgive me for going on a bit, but I, 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 I can, I understand what you're talking about. Yeah. And it, it is, but for example, one of the, one of the requirements of the competitors for this particular competition was that you had to refer to one of his poems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I, I selected a, a poem called Strange Meeting, where the poet imagines um, two um, soldiers, one German and one British, two enemy soldiers, mm. uh, uh, who, who kill each other and who, who, who meet again in the underground, <laughs> like Dante. Uh -huh. yeah, they meet under, underground, and the whole poem is about a conversation between these two people, uh, and 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 uh, it's it's a very beautiful piece of work. Uh, uh, the the um, at the same time, I happen to know that uh, uh, um, Owen was very interested in geology. Uh, there was a there's a place not far from where uh, Oxido, you uh, I can't remember the name, you you Oxido or somewhere like that, where there's a Roman ruin and he used to go there measuring it and mm -hmm. examining it and that sort of thing, uh, and and uh, the uh, uh, but the essence of it all is this duality mm. that once once everybody's dead, they're all the same, yeah. And uh, so that the the structure was, as you may know, if you if you know the piece, I, I, yeah. I, it's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful piece, yeah. and we'll, we'll and and I think the sculpture, if 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 you know that story, you can see it in that sculpture. I see. Uh, the the sculpture. But the story is, isn't necessary to the sculpture. No, right? this is the whole point, and I, I don't think it can be. I think sculpture is something else. Good. I think it's it's a more mm -hmm. musical thing. Now another question. The, the forms that, I mean, since you stopped working from a source, from a model yeah, or, or a, a, yeah. a, a, some, whatever, um, the, the range of forms that you've employed uh, is, is, is not a wide range. It's a quite a kind of restricted mm -hmm. vocabulary. Yeah. Is. Yeah. How are those forms generated in the first place? Well, in, in each case, there's a, a very um, simple geometric core uh, 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 shape, hmm? mm. uh, which um, um, I make, I make, and and you could describe that as as the note, yeah, and uh, you 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 then search for the combination that that will yield that um, makes a tune, begins to sing, and and that's all I can say about that really. That but they all have a, a, a every 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 piece of work since I started doing that has a core um, geometry, and that carries over from. Yeah, um, work to work to work but it's 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 inert in it's inert you have to bring it to life you have to put it together in some way you have to 
search for a, a combination that that sings. And 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 uh, uh, but 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 I, I keep I keep to that as a, as an anchor for improvisation. That somewhere in the background there's something something that requires you to uh, requires energy and action to to enliven. I think the um, I think that's uh, and I don't feel that. I, I, I've been doing anything else since those slayed life room. Uh, yeah, well, we, 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 we began together making life-size figures at the Slade. Um, and and uh, you continued to work from, a, from some kind of source for yeah. some time, was it? Was the break from that something that simply happened or was it something you worked towards or was it a difficult uh, no, struggle? No, 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 was it? I, I wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, programmed at all. I I, I wanted to uh, to continue to work. Now the situation at, at, in the wonderful Slade Life Home, where models would be paid for by somebody else and you'd sit there and look at them for two months mm -hmm. and and work. Uh, 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 and of course you you get out in the world and that's just not possible. Uh, that that way of functioning is just not there. Uh, 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 while I was at the Slade, as well as the work in the life room, which I have to say I, I look back on with great pleasure, it's a wonderful experience, uh, uh, I was also working all the time in that moat. Remember the moat? Yeah. Out the back? Yeah. And mostly stone things. Yeah. But uh, I, I was doing things, we used to have something called the summer composition. Do you remember that? So well, every every summer, yeah, you you everybody could, would go away and they come back and they assemble mostly paintings. Mm. No, nobody gave, nobody wrong, gave wrong, much yeah. of a much of a mm. hoot about the sculpture, but we did it as well. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, that was um, you went away and and, and I made um, uh, quite a few um, non-figurative pieces in those. Some yeah. composition uh -huh. days. Uh -huh. I worked uh, when I wasn't in the life room. I was usually out in that moat. Uh -huh. So there is there is work which um, uh, is, is is probably resembles what I'm doing now rather more than I you see. think. I see. But but uh, the the crucial experience there was the life room, and I, I thought that was terrific. You you I remember you um, and and uh, Brian Taylor both working on life size figures for the Rome Scholarship, which I think. Uh, you withdrew from. Uh, 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 didn't, no, didn't, no, no, no. I, I think. Uh, um, what was that story? No, Rome sculpture. I've forgotten about that. Uh, it was a very strange thing. You had you had to make make a subject. Yeah. Forgetting what it was, of, and and uh, uh, what what happened? I think what happened is that um, Ruth got pregnant, and I had to make a living. Yes, I think is, that's that's exactly what happened. Yeah, that that's and, my and, that was my understanding that yeah. that you did not enter in the end to the competition, that's and right. Brian Taylor uh, won it with yeah. his that's right. submission. Yeah. That's right. And I think had you submitted your figure, you would have won it. But had, well, who know, who knows? No, who knows? Uh, but I remember uh, that figure. Do you have images of it? I have. I have some. Nothing specific, but there was one I sent you once. Which oh, had one of my figures in. Yes, of the no, whole but room I just for. wondered if you had images of that particular figure because my memory of it relates it quite closely to the things you've been making. Yeah, you know, for I, years. I, now. I, I may do. I may yeah. do. I, I, okay. I have to say, well, you know what the archive is like. It's a, a yeah. huge, yeah. huge. Okay, underworld. well, very good. Very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank yeah. you. Bye.